Greetings RC Model Geeks and here we are in the shed yet again so today I'm playing around with the old jumper T16 again um, I felt that my knob didn't have enough friction and, and every time I got my thumb on it it would just seem to slip around quite a lot so I've decided I'm going to make it a condom. Oh yes. So here is the uh, the wheel assembly for people that have not seen one yet. It's a circuit board with a roller and uh, an encoder at the end. And uh, the roller there has got a hexagonal end on it that fits into a hole in the encoder. Now by the way, this is actually quite loose and uh, when I got mine, I actually put a bit of like rubber glue on the end of this so that it um, it took up the slop there was in the uh, encoder. Because you can get quite, you know, probably like 10 degrees of slop uh, just, on, uh, just on that. But anyway, yeah, this is really shiny and it's really smooth and it's only going to get smoother when you uh, when you use it, of course. You know, you're going to get grease and muck and crap on it and it's just not going to slip easily in the fingers. So I've got some rubber paint and I'm going to spray this with it and hopefully it'll have a bit more friction under the thumb and you won't have to push on it so hard you know it'll just glide much easier so uh, yeah I'm gonna um, uh, clean this uh, this knob up a bit and then I'm gonna spray it now I bought this stuff colorful rubber spray film made by Carlas uh, <laughs> Uh, and even though it says uh, Automobile Accessory Limited, uh, that's about as English as it gets because the instructions are in Chinglish. Uh, they are very bad. But anyway, I've got black. There it is. C4 black. And I'm going to spray my knob. So, back in a minute when I've prepared it, and we'll give it a good old squirt. Okay, my knob is now grippy. Much grippier than it was before. The rubber coating definitely helps a lot. And I also deliberately sprayed the little spigot, uh, which goes into the encoder there. Uh, so that that grips better in the encoder. I masked off this end of the of the wheel um, because that sits on a little switch there, which is your enter button when you push down on the on the wheel. So all I've got to do now is put it back together. Three screws uh, hold that in. Uh, and we'll be able to see what it looks like. Um, just for info, if we... Um, no, I don't know if you can see that on there, maybe not. It might be on the other side. That rotary encoder is actually made by uh, Alps. So, you know, they're using quality parts uh, in this T16. Right, I'm going to put it back in and see how it feels. Okay. There is my knob back in, and I have to say, it feels a lot better like that. And by also spraying the spigot that goes into the rotary encoder, it's removed any sloppy free play that was there. And it now feels a bit more like a quality item. Not bad, not bad. Nice little uh, modification there. Right, and the other thing I've noticed with the T16, if we turn it over, is the battery. 
when I got my transmitter, I measured the battery voltage. It was down at 2.9 volts. Now, for, for something that's only technically a few weeks old, uh, that battery is a bit low. I mean, the nominal voltage on these is 3.3 when they're new. And it was down to 2.9. You know, let's say it's, they made them a month ago. You know, um, that's a big drop. I've got a feeling that the current draw on that backup battery is a little bit high. So we might see some kind of modification in the future for that. Um, that battery I put in a week ago and, and it measured 3.3 uh, volts uh, in circuit. It's now down at 3.1 so um, let's see how long uh, that battery actually lasts. Um, yeah, I've got a feeling there's a little bit of a, a design error there. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. I'll keep monitoring that battery um, and see how it goes. Anyway, I'm going to put this back together and I'm going to call this video uh, done. So I'll see you all in the next video. But so far, I am enjoying the radio. See you all soon. Bye. Thank you for watching Captain Rob's RC Model Geeks. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that like button. If you want to see more of the same type of videos, don't forget you can subscribe. If you want to support us, you can use PayPal, paypal.me forward slash RC Model Geeks. If you want to contact us, you can email us, rcmodelgeeks at gmail.com. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.